Welcome back everyone. To celebrate the release of my new rub, Beef Bounce, we're gonna be smoking some Wagyu beef ribs. All right, so whatever barbecue you're using, set it up for some low and slow smoking. We're gonna be using our Oklahoma Joe's Blackjack Kettle. We'll get started by taking our cooking grate off. And for this cook, we're gonna be using our slow and sear. So the slow and sear is made up of a big charcoal basket. We've got a water pan here and then a drip tray. But if you wanna use the snake method or any of your other favorite low and slow methods, feel free to use that. All right, and next we wanna fill our charcoal basket up with either lump charcoal or briquettes. Then we just wanna bury a couple of fire lighters in one end and light them up. All right, so we've got about 10 minutes before our briquettes are gonna be ready. So we'll use that time to trim and season our beef ribs. All right, so we'll start by flipping our beef ribs over and we just wanna take this membrane off the bottom. It looks like this one is already partially off. All right, so that was nice and easy. Most of it was already removed, but if you do have it on there, I always like to just make a light incision in one of the corners, and then you can just pretty much peel that membrane straight off. So now we can flip it back over and just work on taking this silver skin and excess fat off the top. So we do have a pocket of fat that runs through these beef ribs. We're not gonna get rid of all of it, but we're just gonna trim it down best we can. All right, so I'm happy with how these are looking. You can see that beautiful marbling in the meat. So what we can do now is get it seasoned up in our beef bounce. All right, so we'll flip our beef ribs back over, put a drizzle of olive oil down just to help our rub stick to the meat. Then we wanna get all the sides as well. We've got some really beautiful flavors in this beef bounce. It's got your classic mix of salt, pepper, garlic. I've got a bit of coffee in there and a few other secret ingredients just to really make it stand out from your regular beef rub. And I'll put links to the beef bounce, the knives I use and everything else down in the description for you to check out if you're interested. But for now, these beef ribs are ready to go. So we'll come back once our barbecue's ready. All right, so it's been about 10 minutes. Our fire light is burnt out. We've got a good amount of heat coming out of our briquettes. What I'm gonna do now is just fill our water pan up with boiling water. And that's just really gonna help keep our temperatures stable for this cook. Then we'll get our cooking grate on. We'll close our lid. We'll make sure both our top and bottom vents are wide open and we'll give our barbecue five to 10 minutes to preheat. All right, so our barbecue is ready. So let's open it up. I'm gonna get some smoking wood on. We're gonna go with some wine barrel oak from Natural Smoke today. I'll get a piece right over where the fire's burning and then another piece just off. Now, if you've got enough room underneath your cooking grate, put your smoking wood straight over the top of the fire, but that's still gonna smolder away perfectly. I do get asked quite often why I put my smoking wood on top of the grate, and that's purely so I can fit more briquettes in my charcoal basket. All right, and now our smoking wood's on. We'll get our beautiful beef ribs on, and we can shut our lid and let them smoke away. All right, so for the first couple of hours of this cook, all I've really got to worry about is maintaining a nice steady smoking temperature, which for this cook, I'm going to look to hold it at around the 275 to 300 Fahrenheit or 135 to 150 Celsius range. If I need to increase temperature, I just open that bottom vent up slightly. If I need to decrease, then I'll shut it down a little bit. But having that water pan in our slow and sear setup really helps stabilize those temperatures. So for now, we'll let these beef ribs smoke away and we'll come back once we're a bit further into this cook. All right, we're a bit over four hours into this cook. These beef ribs are looking amazing. And all I've been doing since that two hour mark is just giving our beef ribs a spritz with some water every hour or so. I've topped up our water pan as well, and we're about halfway through our charcoal basket, so we're on track for about a nine hour burn time. We've got some beautiful drawback on them bones. Our bark's coming along nicely, but for now, we'll let these beef ribs keep going and we'll come back once we're ready to check for probe tenderness. All right, so we're about six and a half hours in, and I reckon these beef ribs are done that bark is looking amazing and what i've done as you can see i've just rotated our ribs around i've placed some foil underneath just to prop them ribs up as we had a little bit of pooling around here that's just allowed that moisture to run off so we can get nice bark all over our ribs we're at an internal of around 205 fahrenheit or 96 degrees celsius so i'm just going to carefully bring these out now and onto our cutting board all right, so these beef ribs, I like to keep beef ribs super simple. I don't wrap them at all during the cook. So I basically just smoke them at around that 275 Fahrenheit or 135 Celsius range, spritz them every time they look dry and they literally just get taken until they're probing tender around that 205 Fahrenheit or 96 degrees Celsius internal mark. I also find beef ribs very forgiving. They usually don't need a rest. So let's slice these open and have a taste.
Beautiful, tender, juicy meat. Amazing bark. Let's have a taste. That is so good. Seriously, make sure you get hold of some of my new Beef Bounce Rub. It is amazing on all things beef. As you can see, awesome bark on those beef short ribs and the flavor is outstanding. Like I said earlier, there's gonna be links to everything we've used in this video down in the video description. If you've got any questions, don't hesitate to ask them in the comments below. But for now, that's the end of the video. So thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.